The following program was produced at the media facilities of the Lawrence Herbert School of Communication. If there's such a thing as the cultural center of the university, I think the Playhouse is it. Kids who come here for the high school Shakespeare days definitely enjoy their time here and have a number that end up coming to Hofstra. I'm just glad that I had the opportunity to make my own history with the building. <laughs> we have a pretty happy group of students. They come away with something that made them feel special. It's got amazing history. All sorts of stars have walked this stage. That's why when we approached the Sosnovs for help on this, it was a request formed from love. First time I met Mrs. Sauce, North Tony, we certainly chatted a lot about her Hostra experience, including her major in drama and her performing at Hostra while she was a student. But what she wanted to do was come back to Hostra after all of these years and make a contribution to Hostra's drama and art and dance and music. It was something which would create a name for them going into the future for people to emulate. There was nothing more satisfying to me than when they say, yes, we will help you renovate and modernize one of the most important buildings on campus. I've been performing on this stage since I was a freshman in high school. Every year I came to Hofstra for the high school Shakespeare competition and festival. So now that I'm a drama major here, it almost seems like it was meant to be. And Performing on the stage really gave me a feel of the sense of like community within the drama program. We would always practice in my high school stage. My teacher would always say, be ready because the stage is huge. <laughs> and then performing on it, I felt like I was on top of the world. We did Merchant of Venice and I played Portia. Afterward, there was an award ceremony and I won Best Actress. I was very overwhelmed by choosing a college and while applying and auditioning, I found myself more gravitated towards Hofstra. Coming here on Admitted Students Day, sitting here watching Hofbeats, the acapella group, perform, I knew that I wanted to perform here and finally solidified that I actually wanted to go here. The drama department, I believe, started officially around 1947 or 48. The Shakespeare Festival started in 1950. Plays used to be done in the gymnasium. John Cranford Adams was president. He had just built the model of the globe. And in 1951, Donald Swinney built a 5'6 life-size model of the globe, and it was put up in the gymnasium. And they finally decided, we need a theater. And what they did was build a new building called the Hofstra University Playhouse. And it was built in order to accommodate the globe. I mean, Francis Ford Coppola watched that building being constructed. I was a sort of a lonely kid. I used to just sit at night and watch them build the theater. It was a big hole. I used to go and sit on the big hole and fantasize about one day there'd be a theater there. We realized once the Shakespeare's Globe in London opened that although John Cranford Adams had kind of been on the cutting edge of the research at the time, that the research had moved on. So we retired the Old Globe in 2008. Last summer I went over to London. I worked with the people in the Shakespeare Globe in London. So I based my design on the research they had done. So we're hoping to open in spring 2017. But since the Playhouse was built around the original Globe stage, it's even more apt that they're spending time, money, and thought to refurbish and renew the John Cranford Adams Playhouse. We wound up in the late 90s with a bit of a humidity problem. Metals were rusting, woods were warping, and then going from the moisture to the dryness in the winters caused all the fabrics to start to fray and become threadbare. Last year we did the mechanical room. This summer will be the auditorium and potentially the lobby. They actually did acoustical measurements and angle studies so that the drama department can do Shakespeare without mics. And I'm very excited to announce that if we were going to do a theater renovation, we were going to do it right. So we have decided that we are actually pushing out the entrance of the building and going to make double the size of the lobby. It's going to be beautiful and it's going to change the whole dynamic of the place. 
There are many, many events that have taken place in that playhouse that have marked the growth and development and the history of the university. Hillary Clinton, Bush Sr., Billy Joel being here, Mikhail Gorbachev, Billy Crystal playing here, Deep Purple. We had our 75th convocation there when we had the two presidential debates here. We've had presidents speak there. When I was inaugurated president, we had John Stewart put his show on. We have had a host of graduates from this university have made us so proud. Madeline Kahn, Joe Morton, Susan Sullivan, Lainey Kazan, Julie Halston, Susan Schulman, Robert Davy, Kevin Shinnick, Leslie Segretti, James Barber, Fred Berman, Peter Friedman, Phil Rosenthal. We have wonderful alumni. You know, we've had some well-known teachers in the past, and one of them was Howard Siegman. Howard taught for nearly 35 years. Virtually every student who ever had him has huge positive things to say about him. One man, Phil Rosenthal, when he was given an honorary degree here, said that I was able to write thanks to Howard's courses. We draw from all over the country. They come here because they want to be close to the scene where drama happens, and we need scholarships, and we have got more scholarships thanks to our graduates. So the way for us to attract and retain the very best students is through the gift of scholarship. The gala is the single largest fundraising event of the year, and we can devote all of the net proceeds to scholarship. Thank you so much to Martin and Tony Sosanoff for your generosity towards Hofstra University and the Drama and Dance Department. It makes me so happy that people who have performed on the stage would like to give back, and I would thank you for that. I have to thank you from the bottom of my heart for breathing new life into this absolutely majestic theater that we like to call The Old Girl. Tony, thank you for what you've done for the Department of Drama and Dance. It's been a tremendous help. I want to thank Tony and Martin for the incredible generosity and for allowing us to honor them tonight so that we can add more resources to our scholarship endowments. And not just for me, but from the entire Hofstra University community, current students and future students, thank you so very much.